On today's episode of the North American Journeyman, we've done some pretty excellent preseason transfer work in Honduras at the Royal Society Real Sociedad, so much so that we've been noticed in the nation a little bit. And that's right, we're now the national team coach. I bumped my mic there. Yep, here we are. Head coach of the Honduran national team. They didn't poach us. They didn't, they didn't come to us. I just saw that the job became available. As well as Costa Rica and Trinidad. Because the Gold Cup just ended. And they all fired their coaches. I think they were fired. Maybe one of them retired. I'm not sure. but So I applied to all three. And the first one that came back to me was Honduras. I wanted to hold out for Costa Rica, but I figured, you know, we're we're in the Honduran League. We're trying to trying to make our way here. And then I looked a little closer, and while this it is a goal, but it's not gonna happen with Honduras. I mean, if it does, then tell everybody who watches FM content that we made Honduras make it to the semifinal of the World Cup. Now I think the reason I took this job is because I think we should qualify. In fact, we're favorites to qualify for the World Cup. Because we're in a group. So how it works for the 2026 World Cup is, it's stupid, but... Um, you play this group, so we already played this one. I mean, they played this before. And Honduras easily qualified over Cayman Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And then you go into the third round group... And because there's no USA, no Mexico, no Canada, because they're hosts, it's the top three teams, and then the top best two second place teams play in the playoffs against, like, you know, I'm sure it's New Zealand and, and whoever else. Probably the qualifier from South America. But if you'll notice, um, our group is a cakewalk. We're ranked 90th, you saw that. That's not very good. We're a little bit low down, but look who's in our group. Guyana, 161st. Puerto Rico, 142nd. And St. Vincent, 171st. Play each of them twice. Should be able to finish, no problem. I mean, look at the other groups. Costa Rica and Jamaica in the same group is not fair. Jamaica, by the way, I have to point out... Won the Gold Cup. Honduras didn't do well. They finished third. They finished behind Suriname. So that's not good. But now this is interesting to me because one of our goals is to win the Gold Cup with the nation outside of the U.S., Mexico, or Canada. I ran simulations in this save just to make sure that the database is working because I've had issues with that kind of thing before. And... We made it through two Gold Cups in those simulations, and Jamaica won both of them. And now, in the actual save, they won this Gold Cup too. So Jamaica is stacked, but also I think they produce really good regions. So if we could make it to the Jamaica job, that might be a good shout for us to get that one knocked off. I don't know if we can win a Gold Cup with Honduras, but looking at the team, like compared to what we've been dealing with, we got some pretty decent players. Palma, Lozano. Like, this guy's a good complete forward. It's 32. Rivas. Look at that pace. Look at that pace. I mean, it's maybe rose-colored glasses a little bit. Like, that's a well-rounded player. How's this team rank 90th? Center backs are an issue. This is our best one, and he's got three determination. Maldonado plays in Honduras. I recognize this guy. Oh, he was loaned to LAFC for a little while. So we're going to build up a little team, and I don't know if I'll show you any of these games. Maybe the last two, if it's looking like we're going to qualify. And then obviously the World Cup. 
Oh, we made it to the World Cup with a team in Central America. Cool. I think Honduras is qualified for two, if I remember correctly. Maybe three. I'll have to look again. I'll have to watch back my old video. Uh, but so that's exciting. And on the club team level, we've done some transfer business. I think at the end of the last episode when I was just introducing you to the team, we were... 501 odds. Pick to finish 7th or 8th, I think. We're a contender already. Oh yeah. Let's just show you who we picked up. We're still going in for a couple more. Transfer window's still open. So I'm not going to talk about the outs. You never really saw these guys. Nobody's attached. None of them are good. There's a couple old midfielders like this guy who maybe could have snuck into the team a little bit, but we've brought some boys in. What first thing that we did, remind myself to slide myself over so you can see these guys, is we went to Delphines. And some of them wouldn't come here because we weren't playing in, in continental competition, like Bartlett. So we ended up going in for Chiati. And that's Chiati. We brought Chiati in. We brought Ionku in. We basically brought in all the 19, 20 year olds that had high potential. And we went in for a couple more, but nothing was really taken. And then I noticed, looking through registration, I thought it was six foreigners that you could have, but it's actually, you can only have four foreign players in the team. So we got rid of well, we sent him on loan, this guy, who looks like a pretty good midfielder. Okay midfielder. Deal Spring from St. Vincent Grenadines. We sent him on loan up to uh, Canada. A little bit of a loss, but I think we've replaced him with some better players. Because our goalkeeper is also foreign, and I couldn't find a better bonder and goalkeeper. He's like 30, 32. He's not that good. But, but the free loan trick kind of works here, too, a little bit. So we've been making that work. Yasue Maradiaga, center back, mm, potential that he might actually make the national team because center back is really an issue with the national team, but he looks okay. He's on loan from Montagua, who's I think picked to finish like second, maybe even third. This guy, when I first got here, I just pulled up the national team to just see and then look through the youth teams for players because I was like, we need more Hondurans with the four foreign player rule. And this guy's in the Honduran national team, and he was without a club. I couldn't see his attributes. I could see some of them. But he was playing in Hungary and Greece before, and then played a bunch for Olympia. So he's 29. He's on a lot of money. That's the by far the biggest wage. But I was like, come on. Come on in. We need you. We need midfielders. We need midfield depth. He's a bang-on first-team starter. Probably play for the national team, too, a little bit. He's got 50 caps. So he brought him in. 60.5K. Oh, that happened to trigger our left back. Our best player. Who got injured, by the way. So you won't see him today. But Acosta. He's another national team player. That triggered, triggered his... Triggled? That triggered his... Um, match highest earner clause. Which I never check. So that's kind of annoying, but still I'm happy to get Davy Flores in. Money's not an issue at this club right now. Vialta is apparently supposed to be one of our better backup center backs. He's not going to play much, probably. Brian Ramos, backup goalkeeper. I was just looking for Honduran goalkeepers, just bringing in anybody as a method of scouting more than anything. Wingers, we found some good Honduran wingers to back up what we already had. Because... Who's the Delphine's winger? He wouldn't come here. I can't remember his name. The guy with one determination. It's not a big loss. So Zuniga and Vargas, another good winger. We're training him to play Mazala a little bit because he can easily play both wings if we need him to, but we need more midfield players that are good. He's not really a midfielder, but Mazala, winger, same thing. Uh, Figueroa is more center mid depth. Like, look, he's got a cap. Like, he might actually, he's in the national team right now. 
Figueroa. Uh, Castellanos, he's not going to play. Midfielder, he's he's 32. It was a free loan. I said, why not? See how good he is. Eric Gunera, this guy, free loan. Kind of backup number 10 spot. He's not very attacking. But he's 22. Maybe, maybe he can make some waves a little bit, but... Edson Rocha. Now, this guy is midfield depth. He's missing some kind of physical attributes, but for a ball winning midfielder, very defensive. I like that. He can fill in for uh, Martinez. Adolfo Martinez. It's kind of his spot to lose, but we needed Hondurans. Rodas is another free center back. So we definitely have good center back depth. None of them are outstanding though. And Oliva, which is, I was just looking for more center backs, right back depth, but he's got three dribbling. So right back is probably our weakest position. We've switched into this position because I want Ionku to get a lot of game time. See how good this boy can be. And let's see what we can do. Um, it looks like we get 12 subs. Which I haven't really worked out yet, but today we're playing Real España in the opening stage. They have dropped off a little bit. Yeah, they're picked to finish third, so behind Montagua. But we'll we'll see what we can do. I think they have the national team goalkeeper, maybe. Yeah, this is the national team goalkeeper. 72 caps, 31. He's all right. So, the first team is pretty much this. Ramirez, Garcia, I haven't shown you him. He's our best center back. He's an international. Uh, Bernardes is a good backup. Left back. Since Acosta's out. Chiotti, obviously, is on the bench. Ramos, I don't care about. Sanders, a backup option. Cunera, probably. Forget Oliva. Nope, don't need Oliva. Don't need Castellanos. He's suspended anyways. Jose Garcia, the backup goalkeeper. Oh, it's so nice to have 12 people on the bench. Maradiaga can come here. Rocha. Antunez, he was at the club. He's not that good. Zoniga Gunera, or Junera, he's the number 10. So Vargas, I mean, technically I have him as a midfielder right now, but then there's one other, Sander maybe? I don't know, he can play D-mid, I suppose. Oh, Rodas probably comes on the bench. Probably for Vialta, because this guy's trash. And it would be Acosta. But for now, it can be Oliva. Excuse me, Sander. Yeah, Rocha, he's the ball winning midfielder. So I'm still getting to know my own team here. So Zuniga definitely is the backup winger. I haven't showed you the starting winger, Lakayo. He's pretty good. He's also a national team player. He's not probably going to play much in the national team, but a good backup option. The striker is Romero. He's on to it until he loses it to Chiotti. And Iancu, Rodriguez, Flores, obviously. Oh, Reyes is the other winger. He's okay. Can play both sides. We want to play this side, though. We're going to do the same thing. Right footer playing inside forward. Left footed winger with the opposite foot. It's just what I seem to do these days, but... Let's see what we can do against Real España. Rodas is the newest player. There's a couple other ones that are in the works, but nobody that's really going to change our team. We're just going to do the one game today since I've been just blabbering on and on and on. Apparently we lost last time we played them. Not too surprising. Dynamics are looking okay. Apparently our assistant coach likes red cards. I'm okay with that. It is... Honduras. So, if you've ever watched a Honduras game, they play pretty rough. And that's what we'll be doing with the national team. Not many fans in the stands there, Real España. 
League table. We're watching key highlights. Let's see what we can do. It's the first game. I wouldn't be too surprised if we don't do too good. We need top six to make playoffs. Top two gets a bye to the semifinal. And then making it to the final qualifies you for the Central American Cup. Okay. Who's looking okay? I'm not sure why Rodriguez isn't very fit. Adolfo from Delphines. Because we played a bunch of friendlies. They went well. We won all of them. Wow, no highlights. Okay. Well, good thing I talked a bunch. Because you don't get to see any games. Rodriguez? Oh, that's because I'm thinking of the wrong guy. And I was actually supposed to play Martinez. We get five subs, and apparently we can make five stoppages too. That's because I'm playing the wrong player. I mean, Rodriguez is alright. But he's definitely not who I want to be playing. That's a good start. That's a good start. Whoops. Oh, I'm, it's tough. With all the Spanish names, they all kind of sound similar to me a little bit. Martinez, Reyes, Romero, Bar Bernardes. So, we're, I mean, we're looking the better team. We're away from home. We need to create a little bit more, though. Yeah, you're doing well. You're playing against, you know, one of the top dogs here. See if we can impose ourselves in the first season, like we did in Delphines. I don't think that there's it's not really like a runaway league where it's like these top three teams are worlds better than the rest. I mean, it'd be nice to see one highlight. I think we take Reyes out. We'll chuck Vargas in. Even though he likes. We'll do inverted winger as well, and we'll even switch you to a winger. He likes inside four for some reason. We'll just push you up. And for a little while, then Zuniga can come in. Let's see Rodas. Who's not playing good? Yeah, Lakayo is actually not playing good. And you know what, Romero? If you're not going to score a goal in 60 minutes, Delphines, baby. Bring in Kiati, see what he can do. Really disappointed about not being able to bring Bartlett in. Come on, guys. Let's do something. We're just like, this is kind of what I'm working with. Maybe run a defense isn't the right idea. All right, Lakayo. They're making changes. We're making changes. We've really shut them down. So that's kind of good. Lakayo, though. Zuniga comes in. Yeah, he likes inside forward, too. I don't hate it. I don't mind. We already made the Martinez change. Is there anybody else I want to change? Not really. Bernardez, if I could. Maybe the right back. Maybe we'll, we'll just save the... Save the last sub. I mean, is there literally no highlights? Maybe we will do the next game. <laughs> Defensive corner. Header away by Yonku. They've got this guy at the top of the box. We clear out here Zuniga. Oh, they held it in somehow. The shot goes low down. And Real España scores against us in front of their hundreds of fans. Dang. This was almost good. Right here, Zuniga should have needed a little more effort there. He drives in. Sanchez got to do better. We're going attacking. Forget that. Press him up a little bit. Let's move up the field. Oh, we're not pressing very much. 
I decided to bring press back a little bit because our center backs looked garbage. Right, I'm just going to make that last. Well, Figaro is injured. So Rodas can come in. I think Rodas is the better one. Him and Maradiaga are about the same. Rodas doesn't like playing soccer, apparently. Dang. We deserve more from this. Draw would have been about fair. We didn't create anything. You saw one highlight. We're still working the team into the system, getting things figured out. Kind of brutal, though, since at Delphine's, you know, we only lost one game in the whole first season. But it is Real Espana. Even game. We'll do better. Eh, not very happy. It doesn't make me angry, though. Disappoint. We didn't create chances. I'm not really proud of their efforts. Yeah, I just trust the process. Well, let's get them green, because they still, lots of them don't like me. We'll look at dynamics, and then I'll let you go for the day. Thanks to those who've been watching. Figaro is a backup center back. Rodriguez isn't out that long. I shouldn't have played this guy. Flores makes his return to soccer in Honduras. Um, oh, we tried to bring this guy in, another center back, Galindo. I'm happy we didn't get him. Definitely don't want him on the short list. Four heading. He went to Real España for some reason. Yeah, dynamics. Atmosphere is great. Leadership support isn't too good, and team cohesion's going down a little bit. I've brought in the boys that like me. This was all red when I first got here, so this is a vast improvement already. Kiati loves me, of course. Martinez, Iancu, you guys need to get on board. But yeah, the big boys, the main guys, I gotta win them over. Losing our first game to Real Espana is not gonna help, but... Hey, we're back. We're rocking and rolling. We got a national team. Those games aren't until September. We'll probably come back. We'll probably honestly kick on through the season a little bit. So the next episode you're going to see is going to be like either like playoffs or maybe like the last two games of the World Cup qualifiers. See if we can get qualified if we haven't already. But we're going to see how the season goes. We're going to have a good old time in Honduras. And... This club, my least favorite mini game of all time, turned down my coaching course. Even though we're rich. We're rich. And they said no. So again, I'm still on no coaching courses. Sunday League Manager, oh, just the national team coach of Honduras. Probably going to qualify for World Cup. Maybe we'll complete all the challenges without getting a coaching course. That would be, that would be the, that'd be a pretty tough challenge, actually, now that I think about it. All right, I'm going a little too crazy. All right, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave comments. All that stuff helps me out a lot. I do appreciate it. All you guys that have been hanging out, especially the ones that stuck through when the green screen looked like crap. Hopefully it looks a bit better these days. Um, we will see you on the next one. We'll catch you on the beach. Adios. Adios.